destroying Sergei Kotov's ship is rehearsal for a strike on the Crimean Bridge. The destruction of the Russian Sergei Kotov patrol ship is a rehearsal of the Defense Forces on the possibility of putting the Crimean Bridge out of action, former Speaker of the Ukrainian Army General Staff Colonel Vladislav Zeleznev said in a commentary to Liga media outlet. According to him, Sergei Kotov was on combat duty and covered the Crimean Bridge from attacks by Ukrainian naval drones. I think it was a rehearsal of the Ukrainian Defense Forces on the possibility of putting out of action a key logistical artery that provides everything the occupation troops in Crimea need, the military officer said, to ensure that a strike on the Crimean bridge would be as painful as possible for the Russian Federation, it should be comprehensive. Zeleznev said, he explained that such a strike requires German Taurus long-range missiles to destroy the structures that support the bridge. In addition to them, US long-range ATA CMS missiles are needed to destroy the canvas of the bridge, as well as kamikaze drones, which will help destroy the foundation of the structure, the former general staff speaker summarized. Recently leaked audio obtained by Russian spies and later broadcast by the Russian state-controlled news network RT shows that top German officials were discussing plans to possibly send Ukraine long-range missiles that can take out the key Crimean bridge. Senior German officials confirmed the authenticity of the audio to the Wall Street Journal. A spokesperson for the German Ministry of Defense told Business Insider in an email that a conversation in the Air Force sector had been intercepted but could not comment about the content of the communications that were apparently intercepted. The spokesperson added that the counterintelligence service is conducting an investigation into the leak and that they could not say if any changes were made to the recording or transcript that is being shared on social media. The missiles have been one of Ukraine's key asks to Germany. The Taurus has a long range of about 500 kilometers. There was a drone attack on the oil base of the Belgorod Neftproduct Enterprise in the Belgorod region of Russia. This was reported by Russian Telegram channels. As a result of the impact, explosion, and fire occurred in three reservoirs to IT is said that the Ukrainian drone attacked in the morning, and there were no casualties as a result of the incident. The drone is said to have entered the Belgorod region of Ukraine's Suma region. The governor of the Belgorod region confirmed that the attack took place and said that an investigation is being conducted into the incident. Firefighters were involved in the area to IT should be noted that there was a drone attack on the base on February 15. However, the oil base was not seriously damaged at that time. Kaliningrad will become one of the main centers of the Russia-NATO war. The states of the North Atlantic Alliance will react if Russia dares to challenge the bloc aiming at Kaliningrad in the first place, thinks the Lithuanian ambassador to Sweden, Linas Linkevichas. According to him, after Sweden's NATO accession, the Baltic Sea has become an internal NATO sea. If Russia dares to challenge NATO, Kaliningrad would be neutralized first. Russia's previous false accusations that it is surrounded by NATO are now becoming a reality. Linkovichas emphasized, at the same time the diplomat did not specify what exactly he meant by the word neutralized. Sweden actively pursued membership to ensure a collective defense strategy following in the footsteps of Finland which joined NATO in April last year. Nevertheless, analysts have warned that Sweden, once a non-aligned Nordic country, may now face increased risks of being drawn into conflicts. Sweden's NATO membership means the abandonment of its historical policy of non-alignment and neutrality. Analysts argue that NATO's continued enlargement will reshape European security dynamics and potentially strain Russia's geopolitical position. 
Nicholas Locker and Heli Hotela from the Center for the New American Security expressed concerns that Moscow may perceive NATO's expansion as a threat, leading to short- and long-term challenges. Russian Defense Ministry publications warn of the security implications of NATO troops and equipment on Finnish and Swedish territory. Locker and Hotela highlighted that Russia's border with NATO will extend from the Arctic Ocean to the Baltic Sea, which will permanently alter the European security architecture and erode Russia's geopolitical position.